guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Cody Bellinger and the Los Angeles Dodgers and why he got benched. Yes, Cody Bellinger did get benched, but the Dodgers did come out with a win, 11-2. Let's get right into it. But first, I gotta say, the last time I make my own highlight reel, this is not a copyright claim, YouTube. Please don't give me a copyright claim, or else I'm gonna have to delete my video. So, so there are reasons to why Cody Bellinger did. To why Cody Bellinger did. Um, get benched. Cody Bellinger has not started off the season good. He's only got one homer on the season and sh struck out very many times. And there's no reason to bench your best player. He's the NL MVP and he got benched. It's sh like, I don't know how you're supposed to bench your best player. Like, you're not really, you're, you, don't, you don't bench your best player. Yeah, even though he's doing bad, you got to give him chances. You got to give him chances. Like, Ken Griffey Jr. did go in a slump in near that 1990-something season. But you can't just bench your best player just because he's doing bad. You can if you want to. That's your opinion. But if you guys are losing, then that is just bad. Cody, Cody Bellinger is an all-around player, and I've talked about him being overrated in the playoffs, which he is. Still don't get me wrong. I still think he's overrated in the playoffs, and people overhype him in the playoffs. But... You can, you can bench him if you wanted to, but you guys aren't gonna win that much games without Cody, because he literally could be is literally like the literal main piece of your freaking team. And who benches someone that's the main piece of your team? Like it's pretty stupid to bench the main piece player of your team. So, like, who gets why you should bench your best player of the team? No one gets why he should bench the best player. There's reasons why he's benched. Yeah, like I said, he's been doing bad. He has been performing. Over the last season, he did change his stance, which is very surprising there. Change his stance, but there's no reason. There's no reason. I don't get why you bench him. Really don't get why you bench him, but... It's a very good explanation to why you also can bench him. And no one can blame Dave Roberts for benching him. So, you don't have to blame anyone for benching him. But Dodgers, you guys might lose a couple games because your best player is now benched. And that's not your, that's our, that's your fault for benching him. But if you want to bench him, that's your that's your plan. That is your plan to bench him. Not any of our ideas to bench him. It's really your plan to bench him. Like, there's... If you want, you can bench him. But I just don't get why you need to bench him. Because you guys will lose a couple games. Like, I don't think... I believe Walker Buehler's not playing. But no need to bench him. So... Saying that over and over again, yes, but there's no need to bench him. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Yes, it was a quick video. There was no need. Cody Ballinger got benched. That was my baseball video for tomorrow, for today. And there will be a bas basketball for Ian's and a football for mine. So, make sure to go like and subscribe.